after the rest day onto stage seven between Riyadh and Wadi al Dawasiya. The longest stage of this Dakar and, as it would turn out, one of the most tragic in recent memory. Seven bikers had gone into the special by the time Paulo Gonçalves got underway. The Portuguese rider, a veteran of 12 Dakars, wouldn't return from the stage. After his crash midway through, a medical helicopter arrived within eight minutes. He was rapidly taken to hospital, but it was too late, and the hero man succumbed to his injuries. He's the first competitor to pass away on the Dakar since 2015, and all of our thoughts go out to his friends and family. Up ahead, of course, they had no idea of the tragedy unfolding behind them with Gonçalves. Overall leader Ricky Brabeck and Joan Bereda were the first two into the special. The latter, who's been steadily improving as the rallies progressed, making up the three-minute gap to his teammate and guiding him over the dunes. Even if Brabeck extended his overall lead, this was a day when the sporting action was very much secondary. I caught Ricky at about kilometer 200 just before the first refueling zone and from then on I took command. I led for pretty much all of the stage with Ricky controlling me. He was never far behind. But overall, I have to say that I am very happy with today's result. Well, we should specify that Pereira knew nothing of what had happened to Gonçalves when he was speaking to us. The stage win, for what it was worth, went to Kevin Benavides, who stopped to check in on his former Honda teammate and was later given time back. Also a tough, tough day for Toby Price. The defending champion spent almost an hour and a half at Gonçalves' side along with Stefan Zvitko. The pair doing what they could to provide support Price losing a couple of minutes in the overall standings, but that certainly won't be on his mind. And for the Dakar family, this seventh stage of Dakar 2020 ended up being not about racing, but about togetherness and solidarity. The scenes at the finish line said it all. Overall, the lead for Ricky Brabeck is now 24 minutes and 48 seconds over Pablo Quintanilla. Well, finally, in the quads, Simon Witzer had another solid outing. The Frenchman taking the stage win, his second in a row, and improving his chances of a podium finish by tightening his grip on second place. But that man, Ignacio Casale, wasn't far behind just a couple of minutes, and he still has a comfortable advantage of 36 minutes overall.